Section 6 of The Soul or Rational Psychology. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Soul or Rational Psychology by Emanuel Swedenberg. Translated by Frank Sewell, 1837 to 1915, and others section six part first the senses chapter one the simple fibre that it is celestial in its nature one the successive formation of the blood vessels from the simple fibre the simplest fibre is the form of forms or that which forms the other fibres succeeding in order the simplest fiber by its circumflexion forms a certain perpetually spiral surface or membrane which is itself the second the medullary or nervous fiber of the body and is simply a little channel constructed from the simplest fiber but together with the fluid which permeates it constituting a fiber this fiber therefore because it descends from the prior or is the prior fiber thus convoluted and therefore nothing else then the simple fiber itself flows by a spiral or perpetually circular flux this fiber when it falls into the provinces of the body again forms a kind of little gland not unlike the cortical from which proceeds the bodily fiber and this forms the little tunic which enfolds the arterial vessels the fiber further descends into the greater arteries and there also forms glands which again send out fibers from themselves and from these is produced the muscular tunic thus the nervous glandular tendinous and muscular tunics with the membranous constitute the arteries and veins all in each being formed of fibers thus the blood vessel is produced from the simple fiber by continuous derivations the arterial vessel can accordingly be called the third fiber the medullary fiber the second and the simple fiber the first in this respect also the first fiber may be called the first vessel then the second vessel and finally the vessel properly so called or the blood vessel so with the fluids themselves that flow through them the first vital essence is the supereminent blood or that of the supreme degree that which is of the second fibres is the middle or the purer blood and that which is the arteries is the blood properly so called or the red blood therefore is the simple fibre the proper animal essence the form of forms two there is nothing else continuous in the whole body or its whole form is the simple fiber alone all that is continuous in the body or essentially determined that is formed is the simple fiber for there is nothing in the medullary fiber but the simple fiber there is nothing in the blood vessel but the medullary fiber there is nothing in the whole body which is not woven together of vessels and fibers even what does not so appear as the tendons cartilages and bones yet this also experience shows to have been woven from the vessels and fibres originally thus there is nothing in the entire body but simple fibre which is its whole form nor does there enter into it anything continuous or coherent except the simple fibre the only continuous substantial arguing further if the simple fiber is an animate product from its first essence it follows that there is nothing in the entire animal form going to form it but this essence itself the fluids of various kinds which are in the medullary fibers and in the blood vessels as the serious fluids do not constitute the form since the forms constitute the fibers but these fluids flow within the fibers and vessels three if that essence is the soul it follows that this alone is what constitutes the form four the simple fibre is of a celestial nature what the body is 
now inasmuch as every part or individual of the first substance is of a celestial form and corresponds to the substance of heaven or to the first and most universal aura it follows that there is nothing in the simple fibre which is not a celestial form and this alone is ruled by spiritual forms this form because it is above other forms cannot be touched at all by them still less can it be hurt it is most secure from all injury how can a compound act upon the simples of which it is compounded it is most remote from them nor are they dependent upon it five this fibre therefore is not terrestrial as aristotle teaches but of a celestial nature essence and form six hence it is immortal nor can it perish because it cannot be touched seven what is terrestrial and corporeal is not the fibre but rather that part of the red blood and of the middle blood in the globule which served there for an instrumental cause in order that the first essence of the blood may descend in series by successive derivation and be in the midst of the outmost world or in a word that it may constitute the bloods in which nevertheless that celestial form reigns eight that from which the bodily blood exists is only corporeal nor does it contribute anything to form except that it runs through these fibres and adapts them so that they may enter into forms nine this part or this corporeal is mortal and relapses to earth when the globules of blood are dissolved but not so the fibre which of itself passes away while the body remains under the form of a corpse ten paradox concerning the simple fibre eleven concerning the universal circular of the fluid of the body or the circle of life concerning the perpetual solution and composition of the blood twelve concerning diseases of the fibres thirteen concerning the derivation of the diseases of the animus into the diseases of the body and vice versa fourteen concerning the arachnoid tunic end of section six